Okay, so those are my cousins, but you guys hang tight because we've got one more theater person who's been waiting patiently. And now we're going to be rewarded with someone we all know very well. Yeah. <gasps> Evie. I love Evie. E Eva. E Eva Heinemann. Eva Heinemann. Happy In a you lovely know, you know wig. What? I love the hair. David. Happy New Year. Oh, El El Elfie put the lamp on. I didn't know how dark it was. Oh, Elfie's there. Can, can Elfie get on camera? I haven't seen him house. since he was like a tyke. Um, where is, or, well, he doesn't have to, but if he wants to. You have a couple oh. of show cards behind you, Ava. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm having Elfie put the lamp on so you can see better. I didn't know how dark I was. <laughs> So David? Eva Heinemann, I should mention, um, I was telling before how Charlie and Jeff co-hosted Two on the Isle for a bunch of years, and now Charlie co-hosts that with Leslie O'Van Blake. A very similar show of theater reviews has been hosted by Eva Heinemann. It's called High Drama, and that's been on for how long? So, so for... Oh, over 25 years. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, well, then, Charlie, yours is close to 30, then, isn't it? It is, yeah. It, it next, in fact, this, this coming year will be, will be 30, uh, 30 years. And I, I have to say, with the exception of Leslie Hoban Blake, anyone who's ever hosted bit, or co hosted, I should say, two on the aisle more than once is now right here in the neighborhood. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that with difficult? the exception of Leslie, Was you, it? Jeff, and Eva. And yeah, even had, David has remember. been on the show, but he was a guest. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I, Eva, yes, I was. I remember that. It, it was you, uh, your, your book. Oh, uh, my every, God. Was it a good or bad memory, David? I think it was a pretty good memory, from what I recall. Well, <laughs> we, we, we talked about your book, you know. Yes. That, that uh, was, was a good book. Every winner of Tony's and Oscars. Uh, oh, yeah. The big book of show business awards. Right, right. I, I, have, you, have you ever updated it? No. <laughs> By the way, David, what's going on with the Tonys this year? We got oh, nominations. A, well, the, 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 they have announced the nominees. Mm -hmm. And uh, because they're not going to open the shows again until June of 2021, the thinking is, it, it's sort of weird. The thinking, is, Charlotte St. Martin sort of hinted that, well, we don't want to do the sh She said, we've got more time now. We can do more planning. And the, the real thing behind it is they don't want to, I, I believe, I don't know, but I think the thinking is they're not going to do the Tonys until it's close to the time when the shows will be opening so that they can say, oh, we want to get, you know, a pr promotion so that if we give a, a Tony say to Jagged Little Pill, people will buy tickets to see Jagged Little Pill, but they can't do that until it's close to the time when the shows will be opening. So they may not do it until... I'm actually kind of hoping. I'm thinking maybe about five years. Year. I've I've <laughs> looked at I've looked at those nominations. They yeah. have one nomination for best actor in a musical, oh, best right. score. They yeah. nominated plays. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Was Percy Jackson really that bad? I don't think so. I mean, with nominations <laughs> was, like that, right. I try to postpone the Tony Awards like until 2022, when you can actually get some real nominations. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, Eva, we've all been, been yakking about theater, but we haven't even, first of all, asked, how are you? This is Eva Heinemann. How are you doing? Well, first I want to say, Jeff, my God, you look so good. How much? You've lost so much weight. You look gorgeous. Oh, you haven't seen me since the last 350 pounds, huh? <laughs> no, I have not. Last time was my birthday, like three years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that was just before I started losing the weight. Wow. And he's not joking. He's not exaggerating. He lost 300. No, no. I went I went from 527 pounds down to 180. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 500 pounds? I was 527. That's why I had to stop reviewing. I could hardly That's fit terrible. in the seats. Everything was so uncomfortable. That's awful. I just it's, gave up on life. It was, it was, it we, was we really would walk bad. To the th we would walk to the theater and he'd have to stop at every block and then, you know, post when when he got into his current shape you know i invited him to join me and he walks from penn station i mean it's, it's this now. is this is this is truly a miracle of modern medicine it's good good you know yeah but the yeah. miracle here is eva your hair um <laughs> i thought i looked festive for new year's eve i have my mardi gras jewelry on. Uh -huh. uh, i can't uh -huh. see it but i'm wearing a, a glitzy crocodile <laughs> That's in the glitzy <laughs> eyes on, like baby. Cardan, who just was... So, Eva, what is the uh, the best memory that you will take away from 2020, which doesn't have a lot of good ones, but like the best thing that happened? 
Okay, this is sort of a bucket list. This is really silly. I don't know. Do you guys watch CBS Morning yep. News with uh, no. Tony DeCopel and, and Gail King and um, Anthony Mason? Well, they have this segment called What to Watch. And you know me and puns. I mean, I start high drama every time with a pun. My reviews are full of puns. I love wordplay more. That's why I'm a theater critic, because I love wordplay. Oh, Mr. So, Peabody. So they... <laughs> So they, have this, so they have this thing for Vlad Dudier called What to Watch. And the audience members were throwing out these little funny little things to lead into Vlad Dudier. And I followed Tony DeCoppo on Twitter. I barraged him, barraged him with, with this and that and that and this and nothing. And I'm like, oh, this is never going to happen. I gave up on it. And then on Christmas morning, and I didn't even forget, I didn't even realize it was me because it was so long ago. All of a sudden, you heard Tony DeCopel go, yeah. the weather outside is frightful, but Vlad is so delightful. And that's from Ava Heinemann. And Vlad is like, oh, Ava, that was wonderful. And I was like, ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I, you. But I mean, I mean, that thing that happened to me was blood. It was and almost problems. midnight. I was so <laughs> well, no, Hold on, oh, Eva. Um, I think David, David's waving goodbye. You want, you want to go see yeah, It's almost <laughs> midnight. I need to join my party. But it was great to oh, see everybody. Oh, you too, David. Have a good year. Really great happy to see happy everybody. Happy happy see happy you night. David, I have a very happy nine o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so, I just okay. wanted to say... Oh. One quick thing, last year at New Year's, my, the highlight, I guess, was last year, my tweet got on CNN. Uh, because I was watching CNN and they have this uh, <laughs> broadcaster, Richard Quest, who's a British guy with a very gravelly voice. He's in Times Square now. He's very, it was very annoying. And uh, he has oh. a very annoying voice. So I tweeted, oh no, the dulcet tones of Richard Quest. <laughs> Hashtag. What, what next? And then I'm looking on the screen, and there it is on CNN. <laughs> okay. I know the feeling. <laughs> happy New Year. Yes, happy New the Year, best of everything to you, David. And, and happy and healthy, all things good too. You know, so I have a couple, well, a minute or two left, and then I'm, I'm gonna get on my old friend. Actually, I really kind of need to say goodbye to you guys because I want to get yeah. on my on old friend from high school. So let me wish you all Ava happy. I will call you Jeff Goodman. No, Ava, call me. I don't want you to call me. <laughs> um, I don't know if your phone number, but I do have your email, so we'll email each other. Sounds and I just good. gotta say, this is my wonderful town champagne glass from 2003 when we could go to the theater. It's there your you what go. champagne glass? Wonderful, wonderful town. town from A wonderful town. Oh, <laughs> say hello, Donna Murphy. Well, well, guys, it's been fabulous. I want to wish you all healthy and terrific 2021. All things good. Jeff, have a great one. I hope you Happy get your nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, good to see Charlie, you, Jay David. Good to see you too. Health to Margie and the kids. I will. See you in the new year. I hope I look forward to it. And Eva Heinemann, so good to see you too. Yeah. Stay yeah. well. Yes. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Too. Much happier New Year to you. Bye bye. <laughs>